Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Saturday of Holiday Club. Um, I've had such an amazing week, and I really hope that you have too. I seem to have lost Tom. Has anybody seen him? Oh, dear. Oh. Do you like my cape, Hayley? We, we made one yesterday. I thought this was uh, very suitable. This is what we made yesterday when we were talking about Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, but you... Oh, right. Well, I've done my own thing. Is it not quite right? It's not quite right, Tom. Okay, okay. I think you've got the wrong idea. All right. Hmm. I think I'll say a prayer. You do that. <laughs> uh, Father God, thank you for such an amazing week. Thank you for the things that we've learned and for the fun we've had. Lord, help us to um, enjoy ourselves today. Amen. And our song that we're going to sing is I Will Not Be A Phrase. Thank you so much to all of you who sent in these brilliant photographs of yourself. Your superhero costumes are nearly ready. And I've really enjoyed putting these together, so thank you so much to all of you. Last chance to send them in. You need to get them to me on the email address holidayclub at ccwsm.org.uk by 3.30 on Saturday so I can put them together for our final Holiday Club special on Sunday.
we are having an obstacle race. And Jacob's here and taking on Michael and Chloe to go through the race. But they'll have to keep going right to the end. So do cheer them on as they take part in the race. They'll start the minute the whistle blows. Play. And as you can see, Michael just makes it and gets through the hoop just well, and Chloe got the ball down to them. Well, you can see how important it was to keep going right to the end. Whew, I'm exhausted just watching that. Talk about keep on going. God's heroes discovered that God was with them all the time, even when they had to keep on going to get right to the end. God was with them. Noah was one of God's early heroes who had to go through a terrible flood. And when he survived, God told him to look to the sky. And every time he saw a rainbow, he was to remember that God was with him right to the end. We've got a challenge uh, for you at home today. What you need is two glasses of water, both fairly full. And you need a piece of kitchen towel, which you fold into four. Then on the kitchen towel, you use your felt tip pens to draw pretty colours. I've done some of the colours of the rainbow. You can do the same. And then what I want you to do is to dip that so that each end of the paper is in a different glass of water. And then be patient and wait and see what happens right to the end. All your instructions are in your home pack if you want to follow that again. Have fun. Well, I hope you enjoyed that activity. Um, it really is quite something, isn't it, doing an obstacle course? And we're thinking about keeping going today. And our story is about someone who kept on going whatever got in his way. When we're watching films or reading books, we usually want them to have happy endings. We want everything to turn out all right in the end. Yesterday's hero story nearly didn't. Our three friends didn't know that God would save them, but he did, so it was all okay. But what if that story had ended differently? What if everything hadn't turned out okay? Would we still think that it was a good story of a hero trusting God? If you're not sure whether you would think that, then I need to warn you about today's story. Because today, everything does not turn out okay. But that's why I think it's an important story to tell. 
because everything doesn't always turn out okay in life. We're jumping forward a bit in time from our other hero stories this week. Today's hero still lived a long time ago, but he was alive at the same time as Jesus. Jesus had been killed, but he'd come back to life and had gone back to live with his father in heaven. And before he went, he told his friends to travel the world, telling people all about him and how they could be friends with God by believing in him. More and more people believed in Jesus and joined the new church, and they went round telling people about Jesus as well. One of them was called Stephen. He trusted in God. He was very wise. He was good at telling people about Jesus. He liked to help people. He was full of God's Holy Spirit, and God gave him power to do amazing miracles. He sounds great, doesn't he? You'd think everyone would like him. But no. There were some powerful people who didn't believe in Jesus. So they didn't like Stephen going around talking about him. And they didn't like Stephen at all. They didn't like the things he said about Jesus, but because Stephen was so wise, they couldn't argue with him. They couldn't find the right words. From all that Stephen said and all that Stephen did, they should have realized that God was with him. But they just got really angry. So they cheated. They arranged for some men to tell lies about Stephen to get him into trouble. It's horrible when people do that, isn't it? Sometimes, if that happens to us, we might react badly. We might lose our temper or try and find a way to get our own back. But that's not how Jesus wants us to act, and it's not how Stephen acted. Stephen was taken to the men in charge, and more lies were told about him. They said that he was speaking against what God said in the Old Testament, which is the first bit of the Bible. But if that's what they thought, then Stephen could prove them wrong. He was so calm and so sure that God was with him that when people looked at him, his face looked like the face of an angel. I think that means that he was peaceful. And even though people were lying about him and shouting at him, he looked at them with love. Stephen began to talk to them about some of the great men of faith, some of the great Bible heroes who trusted God, like Abraham, Joseph, Moses, and King David. He reminded them that for hundreds of years, God's people kept turning away from him and doing what was wrong, but God didn't give up on them. He sent messengers to the people, telling them that one day he was going to send a very special person who would always do what God said was right. But the people wouldn't listen. And sometimes they even killed God's messengers. They didn't want to hear what God had to say. And now, Stephen said, that special one has come. His name was Jesus. And you have killed him. You were God's special people whom he chose to love and speak to and be in a relationship with, and yet you've not obeyed him. And you've killed the one he sent. Well, they didn't like being spoken to like that. Everything that Stephen said was true, but they didn't want to believe that Jesus had come from God. They'd rather do anything than believe that. They grew furious with Stephen. I don't know whether Stephen realized what was about to happen. But I honestly don't think he cared, because all of a sudden, he saw something. He looked up and saw Jesus waiting to welcome him to heaven. Imagine the scene. On one side of the room, there's Stephen with the face of an angel, keeping his eyes fixed on Jesus. And on the other side, there's a crowd of men with angry, furious faces. Stephen said, look, I can see heaven and Jesus standing at the right-hand side of God. That was it. Stephen was dragged out of the building and outside of the city. 
Then they threw stones at him until he died. They killed this loving, calm, wise, trusting man. I warned you that everything was not going to be okay in this story. Stephen died. That's what happened to the hero in this story. And I can't take away the sadness from that. But let me tell you something else. When Stephen knew he was about to die, he asked Jesus to receive his spirit, to welcome him to heaven. And then he prayed for the men who were killing him. Stephen asked God to forgive them. Then he died, and he went to be with Jesus forever. We know from yesterday's story that God could have saved Stephen. He could have, but he didn't. Instead, he chose to take Stephen home to live with him. It was time for that hero to go home to God. God is powerful enough to do anything. But sometimes he doesn't rescue his people out of difficult situations. Being a Christian, being part of God's family, doesn't mean that God will make every problem disappear. But it does mean that Jesus will always be with us. If we keep our eyes fixed on him, he'll help us to do what's right even when the right thing is difficult. This past week, Ronald Raven's been presenting his show, Hero Quest, and he's been on the lookout for the greatest hero of all time. Will he find one? Will it be someone other than him? Anyway, let's give it up for Ronald Raven. <laughs> Look at me, look at me, I want everyone to look at me on Hero Quest. Thank you everyone, thank you, thank you. Oh, I am quite the hero, I really am. But Tom and Hayley? Uh, yes, yes Ronald. Ronald? I have one question. What kind of a hero collector are you? I have not been at all impressed with the heroes that you have given me this week. Rahab, Gideon, Sh oh, you know those guys with the funny names. None have made it on my show. Hero Quest, I have remained the reigning champion, the... We know the greatest hero of all time. And we've been trying to tell you it's not really about the people we've heard. In fact, it's not even about you. That is a terrible thing to say to me, the ultimate hero of Hero Quest. Tom and Haley, I have something to tell you. What? You won't like it. I'm sure it'll be okay. Tom and Haley, you're fired. You can't fire us. Yes, I can. Sorry. And I've already thought of a replacement. Come on down, Joel. You can stay over there, Tom and Haley, but don't try and say anything. Now, hello, Joel. Hello, Ronald. Welcome to my wonderful show, Hero Quest. Oh, thank you for having me, I think. Oh, you'll love it, because it's a great show about heroes. And I just know that you're going to have a great hero contestant for me today, much better than the ones Tom and Haley have talked about. Well, yes, I do have a hero for you to talk about today, Ronald. Wonderful. What's his name? His name is Stephen, and he lived around the same time that Jesus did. I don't know about Stephen. Tell me, what did he do? Was he faster than a speeding bullet? Was he able to leap tall buildings in a single bound? Did he have a really fantastic singing voice like me? Uh, uh, no, n none of those things. Well, what did he do then? He's sounding as unimpressive as the rest of them. He spoke about Jesus. 
Joel, I'm going to have to ask you the question, what kind of hero is that? Anyone can speak about someone else. That's not very brave. I speak all the time, all about me. No, Ronald, Stephen really was a hero. Let me tell you about him. You see, Stephen loved Jesus and wanted other people to love Jesus too. Jesus had died, but the good news was that he'd come back to life again. And Stephen wanted everybody to know the good news that because of what Jesus did, they could be friends with God. But some people really didn't like Jesus and they wanted to stop Stephen talking about him. So they had him killed. Stephen was so amazing that as he was dying, he asked God to forgive the same people who were killing him. Oh, that's such a sad hero story. I don't like this story. He was a real hero. He was so brave. But they killed him for being brave. It is a sad story, but it's not all sad. Before he died, Stephen saw Jesus standing next to God, waiting to welcome him to his new home in heaven. And don't forget the good news, that because Jesus died and came back to life, we can now be friends with God when we trust in him. Joel, do you think Jesus could be the hero I have been looking for all week on Hero Quest? Yes. Do you he... think that maybe Jesus is the greatest hero of all time? Yes, he is, Ronald. You finally worked it out. But do you know what this means? What? It means that I am not the reigning champion anymore. I am not the greatest hero of all time. Jesus is. That's right, but you could still sing us a song if you want to. No, I have no song. This story has been sad and, yes, it's also been good and made me realise that it's not all about me. It's all about Jesus, Joe. Yes, Ronald? Do you think you could ask Tom and Haley a question for me? I don't think they will want to talk to me anymore. Oh, Ronald. I'm sure if you ask nicely, they will want to talk to you. Do you think so? Okay, I'll try. Tom? Yes, yes Ronald? Ronald? I don't have a song for Hero Quest because it's not all, not all about me anymore. And I was wondering if you might have a song, you know, a song that the children might know, a, a song about Jesus, because it's all about him, you know. Mm. Well, yes, we know. And yes, we do have a song that's going to be just perfect to finish off your show. Wow, what a story that Stephen has. Um, and it is amazing how he kept going with God until the very end. We're going to sing a song together now called Stand Strong, and it will help us remember the story of Stephen.
that was wonderful. Well, we have found the greatest hero of all time, and it's not me, it's Jesus. Even though I'm not the greatest hero, can I still come back tomorrow? I've heard it's going to be a special time with lots more people watching. Of course you can. Thank you. Goodbye, Tom. Goodbye, Haley. Goodbye, Jill. Goodbye, everyone. Hi superheroes, we're back here in the crafty cave in a secret location to make the final part of our superhero costumes today and today we are making these fantastic shields that say trust in God to the end and that's our reminder of our Bible story today, the story of Stephen that we've heard. Um, and he trusted in God right to the very end. So I'm going to put the crafty cam into position. You get your craft packs ready and we'll make one of these fantastic shields together. Okay, superheroes. So we've got everything together now that we need to make our final piece of our superhero costume, our trust in God to the end shields. So from your craft packs, you'll need the paper plate. You'll need the tin foil, kitchen foil. You'll need the pre-printed spiral, which says trust in God to the end. And you'll need the star stickers and this folded piece of card. You'll need some glue and some scissors. So first of all, just pop these to the side. What we'll need to do is very carefully unfold our foil and smooth it down. We'll just put that in the front there. Then we're going to flip our plate over because we want it on that domed side like a shield. Not on the side that you would eat off but on the other side. Then we're going to cover that side in glue. And don't worry if you flatten it a bit while you're doing this because you can reshape it afterwards. It's a little bit like the um, cuffs when we made those. It gets a little bit wet um, and pressed down with the glue, um, but you can reshape it. And we're going to flip it over and pop it back into shape. Stick it down onto our foil and make sure that it's stuck. So everything over. I'm going to smooth that down to make the front of our shield. Okay, make sure that's really well pressed down and stuck down. And we're going to turn it over and you can keep reshaping it as you do it. And we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut off the ex excess foil. Just leave a little bit around the edge so that you can fold it over and make the edge of your shield nice and neat. So there we go, let's just get rid of that excess foil. And now what you do is you run some glue around the edge here. Okay, and you fold it over and stick down that extra bit of foil just to make the edge of your shield nice and neat. There we go. So the front of your shield looks like that and that's the back. Okay. Now then the next thing you'll need is your pre-printed spiral and some scissors and what you need to do is cut around this line here I'll show you here so that you end up with a spiral but it has a little gap running around it so you only end up with 
this part here, not the plain parts here, okay? And that's how you get your gap going around the middle of your shield. A little bit like a maze, I suppose, isn't it? Okay. So you cut that out. I've got one here that I did earlier. There we go. Trusting God to the end. Now this bit, we need to be very careful because this is where we could rip it. I'm going to turn that over and then we're going to put lots, holding it very carefully, but lots and lots of glue. You will need quite a bit of glue. It might get very, very sticky because it needs plenty of glue to stick to the tin foil. It does start to curl up as well, so it gets a little bit fiddly, this bit. Okay, and what we need to do is gather up our spiral and then starting in the middle of our shield, place it down and wind our gluey spiral round and round and stick it down. You might need to add some more glue as you go along. Like that, get it into position. There. And I'm going to need to put some more glue on that. And it's perfectly okay to put glue down on the foil as well. And as I say, you might have to squish it a bit to start with, but you can push that back into position as it dries. Okay, so once you've got that glued on, I need to put a bit more glue on mine, once you've got that glued on then it will look like this one. And then what you need to do finish mine in a second is decorate it with your stars and you can use that however however you want you could stick them all around the edge you could stick some in the middle you could stick them all up this side bit here however you want to um, then the next stage is to get your piece of card that's like this and put lots and lots of glue on one side and then fold it over and sandwich it together because we're going to make a handle for our shield okay once that's glued together and dry then you need to just fold up the edges just like that And then you're going to put some glue on there and on there. And you're going to stick it on your shield and bend it like that to make a handle for you to hold your shield with. Okay? Just like that one. So you can hold it. So I'm going to finish this one off and I'll move the crafty cam back up and I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. So superheroes, we've finally finished our complete superhero costume. This is what the shield looked like when I had finished it. I'd love to see a photograph of yours. I'd love to see a photograph of you in your fantastic superhero outfits. So we've got our superhero mask, reminding us to trust in the God who saves and that was the story of Rahab with our red wool to remind us of that story. Then we've got our superhero cuffs to remind us that we can trust in God when we are scared and then we've got our superhero capes to remind us 
of the story where they were in the fiery furnace and we can trust in God no matter what happens. And finally, our superhero shield that says trust in God to the end. I hope you've had a fantastic time making all these crafts here with me in the Crafty Cave. I've loved being with you. I'll see you again soon, superheroes. Bye. <coughs>
and we're going to see the last bit of our memory verse. Guys, you can join in as well if you have finished sticking your memory verses down. Find some space to join in. Tia's going to do it as well, I think, just this last bit, a little bit. As I'd like to say, we're going to put as much effort into it as we can since it is our last part of the memory verse. All the effort's going to go in. I'm going to... I, I know you're going to do a great job, um, but I want to see if you can do it better than Jaden and Tia. Have a little competition. Ooh, challenge accepted. Okay. So, let us look only to Jesus. We're going to look up and we're going to almost celebrate because he's so great and so powerful and so mighty. So we're going to look up in celebration. <laughs> right, well done. So, now we've got that last little bit down. We are going to do the whole thing all the way through. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? ready. Oh, yeah, we're ready. ready. Okay, that was a bit sad. <laughs> we're going to try that again, guys. <laughs> Everyone's going to try. Are you guys ready? And are you guys ready? Yes! Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jaden. Right, the whole thing. I'm going to read it out. I'm not going to join in this time. I'm going to read it out and I'm going to judge who did a better job. You guys or Jaden and Tia? Ooh. Are you ready? So, get in the starting position, guys. Well done, well done. Great job. Ready? We're going to go in three, two, one. Let us run the race that is before us. And never give up. We should remove from our lives anything that would get in the way. And we should remove sin that so easily catches us. Let us look only to Jesus. Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1b to 2a. Stop. Oh my gosh. You guys did amazing. So did Jane and Tia. Jane was getting really, really into it. But I think you guys did an amazing job and you might have just beaten them. Well done for, this, for the memory, guys. Well done for this week, guys, for the memory verse. You've done a great job. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you can remember it. It's a quite a long one and you guys did so well. So well done. And we're going to say goodbye now. Bye guys. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Well, I hope you've enjoyed doing our memory verses. We've been thinking about, let us look only to Jesus. And throughout Holiday Club, we've been learning that Jesus is the one who is the hero and all the stories of people who've learnt to trust in him. And finally, as we sing our last song, it's a time to think about our own relation with this Jesus. Is he our hero? Do join with me as we sing and maybe do the actions to this final song. Jesus is my hero. Thank you.
come to the end to our, of our second to last day of Holiday Club. Tomorrow is a final day and a special Holiday Club that's been a bit different to all these other days. Um, Tom, how have you found today? I've loved it. I thought the obstacle course, you know, we've all done those. They're not easy, are they? You have to climb over things and go under things. And I love the way it reminded me of Stephen, who kept on going to the end, despite all the obstacles he faced. So I thought that was brilliant. And I've loved doing the activities and learning the memory verse and all the rest of it, really. So he's just loved absolutely everything. And we really hope that you have too. Do remember that you have your crafts and activities from Nikki and Terry to keep you busy for the rest of today. And we are so looking forward to seeing your pictures of the things that you do as well. Please remember to send them to the Holiday Club email address. And I am so looking forward to our big special Holiday Club tomorrow. Tom, before we finish, can you say a prayer for us? I would love to, let's pray together. Lord, thank you for the story of Stephen, someone who, even when it got really difficult, didn't give up, but followed you to the end. Help us, like Stephen, to look to you and to keep going, whatever is in our way. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Well, thank you, and we're going to see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye-bye!